In this video we will dive deep into the influence of three technologies that have shaped human history. Alchemy. Alchemy was a precursor to modern chemistry and had profound spiritual and scientific goals. Antibiotics. Antibiotics revolutionized medicine by providing a way to treat bacterial infections. Light bulbs. The invention of the light bulb changed how we live, work, and organize society. This is an educational and inspiring video about technologies that changed the face of history and how they shaped our world as we know it today. Alchemy is an ancient philosophical and proto-scientific tradition that arose in classical antiquity and had a profound influence on the development of chemistry, medicine, and other sciences. Alchemy was concerned with the quest for the transformation of substances and postulated the possibility of turning base metals such as lead into gold, as well as creating an elixir of immortality. Although alchemical quests were unsuccessful in a strict scientific sense, they laid the foundations for many scientific discoveries. Origin and Early Roots of Alchemy 1. Ancient Egypt Alchemy has its roots in ancient Egypt, where priests and sages were engaged in research into the properties of various materials and their transformation. The word alchemy itself comes from the Arabic term al kimia which can mean the art of Kemet, the ancient name of Egypt. In Egypt, special attention was paid to metals, especially gold, which was considered divine and indestructible. Here, early ideas about the transformation of matter began to take shape. Greece and Hellenism. During the Hellenistic period, after the conquests of Alexander the Great, the Egyptian tradition of alchemy merged with Greek philosophy. Greek philosophers such as Plato and Aristotle developed ideas about the nature of matter and its changes. Aristotle believed that all matter was made up of four elements, earth, water, air, and fire, and alchemists believed that through the right combinations and transformations of these elements, one could achieve the transformation of one substance into another. Alexandrian alchemy. In Alexandria, 3rd-5th centuries CE, an alchemical movement arose that synthesized Greek philosophy, Egyptian ritual traditions, and mystical teachings. Alexandrian alchemists began to develop ideas about the great work, the mystical and chemical transformation of metals into gold and of man into a spiritually perfect being. One of the key figures of this period was Zosimus of Panopolis, who described the process of transmutation of metals and methods for obtaining the philosopher's stone, a mythical substance capable of turning base metals into gold. Medieval alchemy, 1. Arab alchemy, in the 7th-10th centuries, with the expansion of the Arab caliphate, alchemical ideas spread to the Islamic world. Arab scholars not only preserved the knowledge of ancient authors, but also significantly developed it. One of the central figures was Jabir ibn Hayyan, Geber, who is considered the founder of Islamic alchemy. He introduced the concept of balancing the four basic qualities of substances, hot, cold, dry, and wet, and developed recipes for the transmutation of metals. At this time, alchemists began to use laboratory equipment and methods such as distillation, sublimation, and crystallization. Medieval alchemy, European alchemy, in the 12th and 13th centuries, alchemy spread to Europe through the translation of Arabic texts into Latin. During this period, alchemy was closely intertwined with Christian mysticism. Medieval alchemy, European alchemists such as Albertus Magnus, Roger Bacon, and Arnold of Villanova sought not only chemical transformations but also spiritual enlightenment. They believed that alchemy could lead to the creation of the philosopher's stone, the elixir of life, and divine wisdom. Late Middle Ages and Renaissance, in the 14th to 16th centuries, interest in alchemy increased significantly. Paracelsus, a Swiss physician and alchemist, deviated from traditional alchemical teachings and made major contributions to the development of medicine. He argued that the purpose of alchemy was not to turn metals into gold, but to cure diseases and improve health. At this time, alchemy was already becoming closer to scientific methods of studying the nature of substances. Alchemy and Science 1. The Birth of Chemistry 
in the 17th century, thanks to the works of alchemists such as Robert Boyle and Isaac Newton, alchemy gradually transformed into the modern science of chemistry. Boyle, being a supporter of experimental methods, developed the foundations of chemical analysis and rejected some of the mystical aspects of alchemy. His book, The Skeptical Chemist, was an important step in the development of chemistry as a science. The End of Alchemy Although the ideas of alchemy continued to exist until the 18th century, with the development of the scientific method, alchemy gradually lost its position. Antoine Lavoisier's discoveries in the field of chemistry put an end to the search for the philosopher's stone and the transmutation of metals. Alchemical ideas were replaced by the strict science of chemistry, based on experiments and precise observations. The legacy of alchemy, although alchemy as a discipline did not achieve its goals of creating the philosopher's stone or the elixir of immortality, it had a significant impact on the development of science. Alchemical experiments laid the foundation for the emergence of laboratory methods, chemical analysis, and many discoveries. In addition, alchemy left a deep mark on culture, philosophy, and literature, becoming a symbol of the human desire to understand the secrets of nature and improve oneself. Today, alchemy is seen as an important historical milestone that served as a bridge between ancient mystical teachings and modern science. Hello everyone. I am very excited to share my new YouTube video with you, and I need your support to continue to bring quality and enriching content. If you enjoyed my content, please help me by. Like the video, it helps me reach more people and spread the message. Subscribe to the channel, using the subscribe button below, so you don't miss any new update or video. Press the bell to receive notifications every time I upload new content. And if you would like to support me directly and help me create more content, you are welcome to join me on Patreon. Your support is significant for me and allows me to continue investing in creating quality and enjoyable content for you. Thank you so much for joining and watching, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. See you in the next video. The history of the origin and development of antibiotics is one of the most fascinating chapters in medicine. Revolutionizing the fight against infectious diseases. Antibiotics have saved millions of lives. Becoming effective against many diseases that were previously considered fatal. Early forms and ideas of treating infections, folk medicine and natural antibiotics. Long before the advent of modern antibiotics, people used various natural substances to fight infections. For example, the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Chinese used molds and plants to treat wounds and infections. Egyptian manuscripts describe methods of treating infectious wounds with moldy bread, which likely contained natural antibiotic substances. Discoveries of Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch In the 19th century, the work of Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch began the understanding that infections are caused by microbes. They proposed the idea that microorganisms could be killed by chemicals, which laid the foundation for the later discovery of antibiotics. Pasteur suggested that it might be possible to find substances that killed bacteria without harming the body. Discovery of Penicillin Alexander Fleming, 1928 The discovery of the first antibiotic, penicillin, is associated with the name of the Scottish scientist Alexander Fleming. In 1928, he noticed that the mold asterisk asterisk penicillium natatum asterisk asterisk, accidentally falling on a dish of bacterial cultures, destroyed them. Fleming realized that the mold secreted a substance that killed the bacteria, and he named it penicillin. However, Fleming was unable to purify and stabilize penicillin in sufficient quantities for its medical use. His discovery did not attract much attention until the early 1940s, when other scientists took up the development of technology for producing the antibiotic. Howard Florey and Ernst Chain, 1940s In the 1940s, scientists Howard Florey and Ernst Chain at Oxford University built on Fleming's work and developed methods for purifying and mass-producing penicillin. Their work made penicillin available for use in treating infections. During World War II, penicillin was widely used to treat wounded soldiers, saving thousands of lives. 
In 1945, Fleming, Flory, and Chain received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of penicillin and its use in medicine. Development of new antibiotics Streptomycin, 1944 The second important discovery was the invention of streptomycin in 1944. It is the first antibiotic effective against tuberculosis, which was invented by the American microbiologist Selman Waxman. Streptomycin played an important role in the treatment of infections that were not treatable with penicillin. Waxman also received the Nobel Prize for his discovery in 1952. Discovery of other classes of antibiotics After the success of penicillin and streptomycin, scientists began actively searching for other antibiotics. In the 1940s, 1960s, antibiotics such as tetracycline, it was discovered in 1948 and was effective against a wide range of bacteria, including chlamydia and rickettsia. Chloramphenicol, it was discovered in 1947 and was used to treat meningitis and other severe infections. Erythromycin, it was discovered in 1952 and was the first macrolide antibiotic that was effective against gram-positive bacteria and some gram-negative bacteria. Problems and challenges Antibiotic resistance, one of the major problems that humanity has faced due to the use of antibiotics has been the development of resistance in bacteria. Over time, bacteria adapt to antibiotics and become insensitive to their effects. This phenomenon has become a global health threat, as many infections that were once easy to treat become difficult to treat again. For example, tuberculosis, which was once treated with streptomycin, has become deadly again due to the emergence of antibiotic-resistant strains. Antibiotic overuse, one of the reasons for the development of resistance was the excessive and irrational use of antibiotics. Often, antibiotics were prescribed unnecessarily or used in agriculture to stimulate the growth of animals. This led to the creation of conditions for the development and spread of resistant bacteria. Current research and new antibiotics Search for new antibiotics. In the 21st century, scientists continue to search for new antibiotics that could combat drug resistant bacteria. One of the areas is the study of new natural sources of antibiotics, such as soil bacteria and marine organisms. Alternative methods of fighting infections, in addition to searching for new antibiotics. Scientists are also developing alternative methods of treating bacterial infections. For example, methods such as the use of bacteriophages, viruses that attack bacteria, and immunotherapy, which helps the body fight infection in natural ways, are considered. The importance of antibiotics in medicine. Antibiotics have had a huge impact on the development of medicine and have saved millions of lives. They have made complex surgeries possible, treated severe infections, and significantly reduced mortality from many diseases that were previously considered incurable. Without antibiotics, modern medicine would not be possible in its current form. Conclusion The history of antibiotics is the history of an important discovery that changed the world and allowed humanity to successfully fight infectious diseases. However, the future of the fight against infections depends on the responsible use of antibiotics and the constant search for new treatments in the face of growing antibiotic resistance. The history of the light bulb is a fascinating story about humanity's quest to replace natural light with artificial light, and the role that scientists and inventors played in creating one of the most important devices in our daily lives. The light bulb has become a symbol of progress and technological advancement, changing people's lives and contributing to industrialization and urbanization. Early forms of artificial lighting, before the advent of electric lamps, people used a variety of lighting methods, from torches to oil lamps. In ancient times, candles, fires, and oil lamps were used for lighting, which, despite their simplicity, provided light only for a limited time and had many disadvantages, including the danger of fire and air pollution. The first attempt to create an electric lamp, Humphrey Davy and the Arc Lamp, 1809 One of the first steps towards creating an electric light bulb was an experiment by the English chemist Humphrey Davy in 1809. He developed the first electric arc lamp using a battery and carbon electrodes. 
By passing an electric current through the carbon rods, Davy created an arc of light that was extremely bright. However, his lamp was too powerful for domestic use and its light was too unstable. Warren de la Rue, 1840 In 1840, British scientist Warren de la Rue created the first prototype of an incandescent electric lamp. He used a platinum filament in a glass bulb through which an electric current was passed. The filament became hot and produced light, but the high cost of platinum made his invention impractical for mass use. Developments in technology and attempts to create an efficient light bulb, Joseph Swan, 1850s, 1870s In the 1850s, British physicist Joseph Swan began working on improving the electric light bulb. In 1860 he created a light bulb with a carbon filament in a vacuum glass bulb. However, the vacuum in the bulb was not good enough, and the carbon filament quickly burned out. Despite this, Swan continued his experiments and in 1878, he introduced an improved version of his lamp. Its success was made possible by the use of more efficient vacuum technology, which significantly increased the life of the lamp. Thomas Edison, 1879, although Swan had made important advances in the development of the incandescent light bulb. It was American inventor Thomas Edison who revolutionized the field. In 1879, Edison introduced his version of the incandescent light bulb, which became the first mass-produced product on the market. He used a carbon filament and a glass bulb with a good vacuum, which allowed the bulb to burn much longer than previous prototypes. Edison not only invented the light bulb, but also created a complete electric lighting system, including generators and distribution networks. He founded the Asterisk Asterisk Edison Electric Light Company Asterisk Asterisk, which began manufacturing light bulbs and installing electric lighting in homes and on streets. In 1880, Edison received a patent for his incandescent light bulb, and his invention quickly spread throughout the world. Tungsten filament bulbs, 1906 One of the key stages in the development of incandescent light bulbs was the use of tungsten as a filament material. Tungsten has a high melting point, which allows the lamp to burn longer and more efficiently. In 1906, the American company General Electric patented a tungsten filament bulb, which gradually replaced carbon and carbon filaments. Improvement in vacuum technology One of the problems with early incandescent light bulbs was the destruction of the filament due to interaction with oxygen. To solve this problem, engineers began using inert gases such as argon inside the bulb instead of a complete vacuum. This reduced filament. Evaporation and increased the life of the lamp. Halogen bulbs. In the mid-20th century, halogen bulbs were developed that used halogen vapors, such as iodine or bromine, to extend the life of the bulb and increase its brightness. Halogen bulbs became popular due to their efficiency and compactness. Fluorescent bulbs. In the 1930s, fluorescent bulbs were introduced that used phosphorus and an electrical discharge to create light. These bulbs were much more energy efficient than incandescent bulbs and quickly gained popularity in commercial and industrial spaces. Light emitting diodes, LEDs in the 21st century, one of the most important advances in lighting was the advent of light emitting diodes, LEDs. The first experiments with LEDs were conducted as early as the 1960s, but mass production did not begin until the 2000s. LEDs consume significantly less energy than incandescent and fluorescent lamps, and also have a much longer service life. They are gradually replacing traditional light sources in homes, offices, and on the streets. Energy efficiency and ecology In recent decades, there has been an increased emphasis on energy efficiency and eco-friendliness of lighting. Governments in many countries have begun to introduce standards to limit the use of incandescent lamps and switch to more energy-efficient light sources, such as LEDs and compact fluorescent lamps. Conclusion The history of the light bulb is the history of human quest to create an efficient and affordable light source. From the first experiments with carbon filaments to modern LEDs, the light bulb has come a long way. It has changed the world, allowing people to work, study and live in more comfortable conditions, and continues to be an important element of our daily lives, despite the development of new technologies.